Welcome back YouTube. I would just want to go through a couple quick demonstrations on the green monster, some power demonstrations just so I can demonstrate the power of the uh, Slayer Exciter Test Support that I have set up over here and I'll just let the results speak for themselves. So you all know what this is. You've seen this in a couple previous videos that I've had. This is my 40 watt, 48 incher. Okay. Christmas tree lights, LEDs of course, and another once dead, now revived fluorescent tube. Here we have every CFL I want in the house. can't really position them, but as you can see, they're all lighting up. Uh, I have nothing else in the house. Really, I mean, I'm just going to have to start buying more light bulbs at this point, or just keep buying the big fluorescent tubes until I, I load the circuit down and it just breaks down. But 19 volts in. Uh, Gosh, it's got to be around 500 milliamps that I've proved this in previous videos. Other individuals have proved that no matter how many bulbs you add to this ambient surrounding, um, the current really doesn't change all that much. But the bulbs do get dimmer. They do get a little bit dimmer. But the reality of the situation is, it's just, you're getting a lot of power here transmitted wirelessly. One last thing I want to go over, and this happened quite by mistake, and I'm going to zoom in for this. So I cleaned out my Christmas tree, and I had a few streamers on the floor. I had one dangling off my wrist, and it came next to the, it came near the Tesla coil as I was reaching towards it before, and it exploded in my hand. Wait, what? It exploded in your hand? Well, let me demonstrate. So here we have, guess what is it called? Christmas tree garland? Oh, there it goes. Watch this, guys. Wanna, uh, watch this. Tell me that's not cool. Here it is. Just a little metallic string right there. See it in the frame and just watch the tip. And it just it bakes right to it. This is really neat. Catches it and it all goes up. 